a farmer's hard enough. And when you have real giants on your farm, the level of difficulty increases several times over. Overly muscular cows, muscular hogs, and goats that can grow by leaps and bounds. In this episode, you'll see these and other most powerful animals in the world and find out what they can do. Let's go! Belgian Blue Cows of this particular breed are currently very popular in Germany, France, and Belgium. What's unusual about them? Well, for one thing, their appearance. These creatures do not look like an average cow that we're all used to seeing. This breed is noticeably different from the others with its build, which is a bag of muscles, as well as great milk yield. The Belgian blue cow usually reaches 5 feet in height, weighs over a ton, and its milk yield is equal to 530 to 1190 gallons per year. But how could such an unusual beef cattle breed appear? It turns out that its history dates back to the 18th century when representatives of the meat shorthorn breed were specially brought to Belgium from England to improve local livestock. According to some reports, the Charolais cattle could also be involved in the mixing of genes. I'm getting ahead of myself and answering the main question on everyone's mind. What should have been mixed to make this? I'll say, it was enough to turn off the production of myostatin. For clarity, every muscle in the body of cows produces the protein called myostatin and the higher the concentration of the protein in the blood, the less desire of the body to build muscle. And if there's no myostatin, the muscles themselves begin to grow with incredible speed and efficiency, beating even the best training programs of jocks. The downside for farmers, of which I think there are only a few here, is the need for constant feeding. Fortunately, simple fodder will be more than enough, and nothing extraordinary will have to be invented. The cow's stomach takes literally all the juices from the plants. Also, because the Belgian blue has almost no fat, it gets very cold, so it's important to provide it with good living conditions. Another farm jock is called the Scottish Highland Cow, or just the Highland, and it's been known to people for over a hundred years. The cow looks like some kind of cartoon character. It's too muscular, stocky, and funny at the same time. The Highland has managed to build its muscles so that it walks incredible distances in search of food. Highland owners do not build large-scale barns. The cows are free-range and graze in the open. Because of the incredible coats that Highlands wear, people can often be unprepared for this kind of decoration. People unfamiliar with animal husbandry often mistake these cows for yaks or buffaloes, but they're real cows. It's just that the high-altitude climate is quite harsh and changeable where they come from. A thick, two-layer fur coat protects the animals, not only from the cold but also from the piercing, damp wind. That's why they could forget about getting subcutaneous fat. There was simply no need for it. But despite the high muscle content and minimal fat, the Scottish cow will eat anything that a normal cow would turn away from in a heartbeat. Its digestive system can easily digest everything from coarse fiber to weeds and tough shrubs. However, oddly enough, artificial feeds are an exception. The Highland will not eat them under any circumstances. What about milk yield? In a year, such a cow surely gives a lot of milk, doesn't it? This isn't the case. A farmer will get a little more than 400 gallons of delicious milk. Daily milk yields are out of the question. Despite this, resourceful farmers have still figured out where to use Highlanders. With their constant jogging, heavy weight, and strong horns, these cows plow the land perfectly so that vegetation doesn't grow for a long time afterwards. Muscular Hogs There is a short but curious story about these creatures. About 10 years ago, Lang Yi, a Chinese farmer from a small village in Wangji province, found two piglets high up in the mountains. The farmer decided to capture them and bring them back to the farm. At first, they looked more than ordinary. They didn't stand out. But once he started feeding and caring for them, the miniature piglets immediately turned into healthy, muscular hogs, the mere sight of which makes you shiver. And indeed, just look at these pigs. They're so powerful and even creepy that they could easily become antagonists in some Hollywood horror movie. And most surprisingly, 
They have grown not only due to fat, but also due to muscles and to a greater extent, thanks to them. Legs, torso, neck, wherever you look, all parts of the body are incredibly strong and ready for any physical exertion. It's not clear exactly what caused the pigs to transform this way. Either this is their peculiarity, or just in the mountains there's a muscular species that the farmer accidentally stumbled upon. Write in the comments, what do you think about them? Brahma Would any of you believe me if I told you that in the past, roosters of this breed weighed as much as 15 pounds? Those birds were gorgeous, but today's Brahmas are a little different. First of all, they're famous for their immunity. Brahma chickens have great health since birth, which, with proper care, preserves in them until the end of their days. Also, despite their extraordinary appearance and a whole bag of muscles, which is not typical of other breeds of chickens, Brahmas are unpretentious to the living conditions. In fact, they're not much different from ordinary domestic chickens. Of the joys for farmers, it's safe to say that the meat is perfect. Some consider it too tough and dense, but in most cases, the meat is tasty and its toughness is not a big problem. As for eggs, although this breed does not focus on laying eggs consistently, they do lay quite a few eggs a year. Most farmers turn a blind eye to the slightly lower production numbers because they like the look of these chickens the most. They want these strong, confident, and self-sufficient creatures to walk around their farm. Now I'll tell you about boar goats a breed of meat goat that occupies an important place in modern cattle breeding. They're considered one of the most popular among other goat breeds of this direction. These are animals that are not common in agriculture, but have managed to show great productive numbers. The first thing that can be distinguished in them is their appearance. An adult goat can weigh more than 287 pounds, which is above average. Along with this, its weight consists not of fat, but of muscles and a wide chest. However, the wool is short and there's very little milk, but this is of little concern to anyone because the breed is a meat breed, although I would even say it's too meaty. From the moment of birth, a baby goat has time to gain 79 pounds of weight in just 90 days. The only downside is that the farmer has to be prepared to spend a lot of money on food. Since the weight gain is so fast, the food has to come in at a faster rate. But there are also positive aspects. The goat units clear their own pastures. The animals eat the leaves of bushes and small trees, after which they dry up. Gorillas are not farm animals like all the previous ones, but they also deserve our attention. Not for nothing are they considered the largest and strongest primates in the world. The average gorilla is stronger than any of the modern weightlifting champions of the world, and they do not even make an effort to train but sleep most of the day. You know what the scientists say? It's as simple and easy as ever. It's evolution. Most often, they write that the strength and capabilities of the gorillas are 10 times greater than its weight. That is, the average primate weighing 400 pounds is able to lift a load weighing 4,000 pounds. Meaning this is an exaggeration, but there's no doubt the gorillas are really very strong. It seems that Mother Nature put all its time and effort into creating such an unusual animal. But besides that, gorillas surprise us with their running speed. The creatures are able to move at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. It's hard to say how cool it is compared to humans because no one has organized a competition between gorillas and us, but I think we would definitely lose to them. Like I said, the secret of their power is evolution. The primates themselves do nothing about it. Even their diet's very simple. Grass and that's it. While they may occasionally eat clay to replenish their mineral reserves, that's the end of the variety. Although, maybe it's not about the food itself, but about how much they eat. After all, it's known that gorillas can eat up to 66 pounds of vegetation a day. African Elephant Elephants are positive guys. At least, that's how they seem to us. They look peaceful and have never been heard of any aggression towards people. Unless annoying tourists interfere in their family affairs, of course. But did you know that you should still be afraid of them? For example, the first argument that elephants are not so harmless is their teeth. They don't have many, but it's not about quantity, it's about quality. First of all, tusks are modified teeth. They grow throughout the elephant's life and can weigh up to 330 pounds by the time the animal's old. This animal has four or six molars in its mouth, each of which is a giant plate that it uses to grind plants. 
By the way, the animals die often due to the fact that with age, their teeth become unusable and they can no longer chew food well enough. These powerful creatures grow all their lives. So it's easy to determine the approximate age of an elephant. The larger the body, the older the animal. The average weight of an adult is three to five tons, but some old creatures weigh 12 tons. And here's another interesting fact. They can stand and walk within an hour of birth. Just like us, they can be right-handed or left-handed. Only in their case, it's not about their legs, but about their tusks. Elephants produce offspring every five years and can communicate with each other at a distance of three miles. For the latter, they use a low-frequency range known as infrasound, which is not perceived by our ears. That's all, guys. Which animal size impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.